and we are back. Welcome back. Welcome back. Um, I believe this is going to be the final episode for this series. It's been a lot of fun. Um, all we have left to do, or all that we're all that's left that we're going to do, is refight all the elite four. Yeah. Yee. All right. So, um, this is our team. This is what we're going with. Let's go in. All right, the rematch against the the ice Pokemon, Lorelai's ice Pokemon. Magmorgon. I don't seem much higher. Yeah, it doesn't seem much higher at all. I don't, I'm pretty sure that's kind of where we where it was last time. Yeah. That's kind of sad. I could have sworn that they were supposed to get stronger. This burst to me, but I wonder if we didn't trigger something. Mmm, maybe. Um... It's ice fire, right? I'm assuming? Yeah, it should be. And surf. I'm pretty sure they're all gonna be, like, ice something. Mm. Um, my surf. We surfing, surfing these waves. That was a little harder. <laughs> oh, uh oh, got put to sleep. Sleep better. Yeah. I mean, to be fair, the rest of our team isn't too too high. Like, everybody else is like 66, 65. Yeah. Uh, and Jolteon's the only one that's like really high. Oh, god dang it. <laughs> um, you know what? That's fine. I'm gonna pray that it wakes up. Now we're gonna... There, woke we'll up. He's probably gonna die, though. Yeah. Yep. Dude. Dead. Um... Flame Burst! Really? Full Restore? Really? I'll milk your damn Pokemon. Milt him! This thing, man. Yup. Although this one's lower than the rest of them. Oh god. Yeah. How dare that, you! That was quick. Yeah. I don't know, I, I, I could like, it doesn't seem like they uh, got stronger at, at all. Probably not. I mean, that kind of sucks um yeah where's my hyper potions there we go billion hyper potions what the billion hyper potions yeah that one that one trainer that i used uh to get money off of just was giving away hyper potions like crazy Mavire! 
Right, he, he's fighting, so... Um... I'll do signal beam for now. Oh, whoops. Wait. Okay, yeah, that's fine. Another four star? Probably. Maybe. Yep. How much does Surf do? Oh, never mind. One more. <laughs> Yeah, I just didn't want to swap in, like, uh, what you call it, to an attack. Um... Here's a little wisp. He tried to counter. <laughs> no, I will not be swapping. Little wisp. Oh shit, okay. Oh my flame burst. Flame burst does does wonders. Yeah. I mean it's steel. Mm -hmm. Don't die. Fucking sturdy! Oh my god! <laughs> oh no! <laughs> it died anyway! Yeah. Also, still steal. Your your Togekiss also leveled up. <laughs> the Togekiss. Oh, whoops. There we go. Ghost Pokemon. <laughs> gonna get ghosted. Oh no. Ouchie. They're gonna scare us. <laughs> so fitting for October. Yeah. <laughs> That's not gonna date this episode. I mean Well actually it, it's not. I mean it, I mean everybody's gonna know it's Octo it, it, it we we did it in October, but I mean it's already it's okay, it's releasing in October anyway. <laughs> That'd be fine. It's fine. Ooh, it paralyzed me. Oh, but it didn't work. The, the RNG Jesus did not bless us by paralyzing. Like, make me so that, like. He was paralyzed, but, like. He wasn't affected by the paralyze. RNG is never in our favor. Bro, the full restores. Yeah. We might as well get rid of them now. I mean... That Umbreon didn't want to die. Nope. Snorgar? Oh. Oh. I'm not right, this thing is really tanky. Yeah, it probably is. Or not. 
I mean, 41 levels will do that. Yeah, that too. Oh, this one had mirror move, didn't it? I think so, yeah. Uh Yep, there it is. Not mirror move, mirror coat. Jesus. Electro Ball's doing pretty good damage. Yeah. I mean, it, it'll do more damage if I do, like, Flame Charge, but it still does pretty good damage. I mean, it does enough. Yeah. It does enough. Alright. Now we fight the last Elite Four. It's funny because they, they like they acknowledge the fact that you're coming back, but it's like I don't. It doesn't seem like they got any stronger. Uh, yeah, I don't know. Unless maybe they were just level fifty before, so now they're like fifty-five. Maybe. I mean, none of the gym leaders in the. After story ten area very high either. I mean they were all like sixty something. Yeah. To 70. But they capped out about seventy. Yeah, true. I guess maybe they expected us to like um make a whole new team. Okay, that's I have no clue. <laughs> oh, the full restore. There it is. I guess he was out of full restores now. <laughs> yeah, they only got like two. That's all they do. Yeah, that's what it seems like at least. Yeah. That's a cool looking Pokemon, though. It's got yeah. two big weakness. And then we have one more fight. Is it Bob again? It's Bob again. Bob. 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 Bob, do you still have the same? Yeah. <laughs> same. He still got. He still got the. Still got the same ones. I think he has like three Tauruses now. He has at least two. Yeah. There's the Tauros. The first one. <laughs> oh, it's level 64. That's a bit better. Damn. It's 
it's also I dead. It. Yeah. <laughs> Damn. That poor Tauros. And there's the other one. All this cues with stuff. <laughs> Electidus. They're all level 60s. Mm. So I mean, at I least that's what they were for the first time. Were they? Yeah, they were pretty good. Hmm. I was expecting the elite four when we came back to be like all level 100. I was kind of expecting like level 80s. I don't know. It's hoping we wanted, but level 80 would have been good too. Yeah. Oh well. Oh, we still get the. Oh, he's still like he's still gonna give us like this little lecture that he gave us last time, or he gives he gives Bob a lecture, I should say. Do you know why you lost? <laughs> Now it's just gonna go through our Pokemon, put them in the Pokemon Hall of Fame. Yeah. A hey. good stuff. Good stuff. Also puts the date there anyway. Feed to black. Save. Uh, and I just wanna... Oh, she recovers our Pokemon. I don't think there's... I don't think anything else opens up, but just to make sure. Cynthia, if what you are saying is true, then it could only be caused by an immensely powerful Pokémon. I have studied the Sinnoh myths extensively, and I believe that there exists Pokémon that could exert this sort of power. But this begs the question, why Mount Silver of all places? Ah, Max... Ah, Maxips, I didn't hear you come in. It is good to see you. This is Cynthia. She came all the way from the Sinnoh region to share a very interesting discovery with us. Maxips, I am pleased to meet you. So, Maxips, you got all the Johto badges too, huh? You really can't get enough, can you? I figured you were something special when you beat me at the Pokemon League, but to think you'd get all the badges from Johto too, this is just something else. There are very few trainers who can claim to have so many badges. It is quite the achievement. Congratulations, Maxips. Cynthia is a league champion just like you, you know. If you're looking for, the, for one final opponent to test your skills against, then she's probably it. One day we might get the chance to f face off against each other, but for now, we have more pressing matters. Yeah, of course, go on! As I was just telling Professor Oak, scientists from my home region have noticed odd readings on Mount Silver. As you approach the summit, it appears that the laws of physics start to behave strangely. Time slows down and objects seem to be pulled inwards as if they were about to get sucked into a black hole. The scientists say that such a strange phenomenon could only be caused by a significant distortion in space-time, but the patterns are too irregular for it to be for, from natural causes. It's as if space and time were being deliberately manipulated by something. Of course, there's only so much information we can obtain from instrument readings. That's why I came here to check it out. There are many myths in the Sinnoh region that describe two legendary Pokémon that are able to alter the spatial and temporal uh, dimensions respectively by manipulating both time and space at once. That's unheard of. Since we might be dealing with something powerful, I asked Bob to come join me on my expedition to Mount Silver. If it's a Pokémon, 
then I'm gonna catch it, and I'll be unbeatable! Maxips, would you like to join us? We do not know what we're up against, so we could always use an experienced Pokemon trainer such as yourself. Great. You can come and meet us near the entrance to Mount Silver so we can plan the expedition. It's a long trek to the top of the mountain, so we should leave now. Thank you very much, Professor. But Bob, Maxips, let's meet up at the base of Mount Silver. Oh. This is probably like what we were supposed to do and then go probably fight the... <laughs> yeah, probably. <laughs> Yeah, I I have also I have a feeling as to like what the Pokemon is too. Yeah. Um, I'm trying to, I'm trying to remember the name. Uh, it's a legendary Pokemon for sure. Um, oh my God, what's the name? You're talking about Dialga and Palkia. I don't think it's Dialga and Palkia. No, I don't think it's Arceus either. Um, uh, I can't remember. I can't remember the name. Uh, hold up. Let me see if I can like look it up on online. Just well, not the quest, but the name of the Pokemon. Because I I have an idea as to like which Pokemon it is. I just can't remember the name. Um. Doo -doo 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 -doo. Let's go with... It's it's a dragon type. That much I do remember. I'm, pre I'm pretty sure. Uh, why does it not... No, it's not Zygarde. Uh, Giratina. That's the one. Uh, That's the one I'm thinking of. It's... it's I'm, Pretty sure it's Giratina. I mean, it could be Arceus too. Uh, to be honest, I'm not entirely interested in doing this quest. Like, uh, um, maybe just leave it there then. Yeah, we refought the the Elite Four. I uh, we made a mistake. We were supposed to do this and then refight the Elite Four, and then we probably fight Cynthia, and that would have been the end goal. So that I mean, that's that's on us. But also. I don't know. It's 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 weird. Um, <laughs> but you know what? Um, we're gonna transition. Uh, this is this is the end of the Pokemon Infinite Fusion playthrough. What we're gonna do now is um, they have so Pokemon Infinite Fusion has this little thing, right? Um, they don't because they don't have uh, a way to incorporate uh, battling, like online battle, net battling, or whatever you wanna call it. Uh, because they don't have a way to incorporate net battling in the game itself, um, they have. When you go to the second floor, nope, not this one. Of most Poké Centers, if you go to the second floor of most Poké Centers, hold on, <laughs> I gotta find a Poké Center that does it. But you know, so if you go to the second floor and you talk to this guy. Um, they have what's called a po Pokathlon, uh, showdown, which is basically similar to, like, um, Pokemon Showdown. So they have a little website where they, they, like, they keep all the fusions and, and, like, stats and everything, and you can literally just battle there. Um, if you, so if you click on, if you click go to showdown, it opens your browser and it'll bring you straight to the site. So we're gonna transition to that, and me and Snips are gonna like do a little bit of talking about like what we think, like our, our feelings about the, the game, like how we felt about playing and playing it, and whatnot. We're gonna do, we're gonna transition that, and we're gonna talk a little bit, and we're gonna battle each other. We're gonna do some like random, uh, random teams. We're gonna do some like randomized team battles. So we'll be right back. One second. All right, and we're back. So. Um, so Snips, what do you, uh, how, 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 how do you feel about the, what you call it, about the po Pokemon Infinite Fusion? What, what, what do you think about our playthrough? Uh, I know it pretty well. I like, um, the fact that you get to, like, use Pokemon. Um, the, all the sprites are nice. I agree. I do. I, I personally did like the sprites. A lot of them were really cool. Some of them were like nightmare fuel. 
Which is not to say that's a bad thing. Like, they're made like that on purpose. Yeah. I mean, I, th I thought that was, uh, I thought that was really well done. Um, I yeah. think, I, I, th I personally, I really like the, I really like the idea of, like, you can basically fuse, because you can fuse them, right, it allows for all these different typings, typings that are not normally in the game, which gives you, like, uh, a different scale of, like, you know, weaknesses or, or resistances and whatnot, and I always, I, I kind of, I, I don't know, I feel like that's something that, um, a lot of, like, that's something I've always, uh, struggled with when it comes to the original Pokemon games, because there's, like, certain typings I want, or certain typings, um, that I've, I try to do with certain teams or whatever, like, I personally really like having a rainy day team, right? Mm. And... Because and the thing is, like, I always I always struggle to like build a team based on rainy day because I'd like to have Jolteon, but like he suffers because you know he's weak to into he's weak to ground, but also like he's a glass cannon. Um, and then like a lot of a lot of the electric Pokemon are all like they're weak to ground and they're like glass cannons, and it's just like ugh. so it's like I want to I want to build a rainy day team. And like I, I, I'm working with like water and, and electric because that like the water Pokemon benefit from rainy day with Swift Swim and the electric Pokemon benefit with like uh, being able to have 100% accuracy with Thunder. So it's like, well, that's all I really get to work with. Whereas like, um, with this game, you can like kind of build your. You can kind of like build your your own team here, yeah, and make it focus on however you want to want it to, and I think that's re that really works in its favor. And plus, it gives you more variety. Like, there's more Pokemon variety because of the fusions. Yeah, that's true. Um, I I do think uh. I do think it starts, the game does start to suffer in post-game, and maybe that's just me being harsh, or maybe I wasn't, maybe there were times when I wasn't looking hard enough, I don't know, I mean, you, you played alongside, so I mean, and I think you're probably a fairer judge than I am when it comes to that. I think it was fine for the most part. Having to look up a lot of things was frustrating, but at the same time, the it's a fan project and it's not completely finished so I mean that's true too it's got it's still got a way to go but at the same time um, it's got a lot going for it already yeah yeah I think um I, 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 for me, it was just that, like, I found, like, I agree, I agree it's a fan project, and it's still, it's still, like, being worked on, so, I mean, I'm not, I'm not, like, how should I say, it's, I'm not, like, um, trying to, I'm not trying to fling shit, you know what I'm saying? Like, yeah. um, I, 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 more so, I, I guess critique, critiquing? I don't know. Like, I'm, I'm kind of throwing opinion, maybe hoping that, like, it'll, um, cause I'm, I, I, I'm, I expect that it'll get better over time as, like, that it continues to be worked on. Mm hmm Um, and, like, I, and my, my, I think my major problem with the game was that I felt, um, a lot of the stuff post game that like when it's, and when it's like oh uh, like there's all these other things that you can do, right? A lot of it felt um, like it wasn't incorporated. There's a lot of stuff that we didn't do because um, I would have to because the only way we would know about those things is because we followed the guide, and like I did see them in the guide, 
like all like all mm-hmm. the things about like all like how to get all these legend the legendary pokemon and whatnot um and i felt that um the only way we we would have known about that certain type of stuff is if we followed the guide to it into the t um yeah which i think that's something that we're gonna see that if they the more they put time into it the more that's gonna get better yeah i agree i think the, the more time that goes into the game the more that'll get better but i but i'm just saying like i would I, what i'm expecting like what we're saying i think i expect to see it get better incorporated with the story because i remember when we got like after we beat the elite four the the first time around um Professor Oak was like, oh, you should go see uh, my good buddy, Professor Elm. He's, uh, uh, he has like a discovery. He said, the, he said something like uh, Professor Elm has like a discovery. You go talk to him. He wants, to, he wants, to, he also wants to give you a Pokemon or something like that. Right. And um, I think like it took us so long to get to Professor Elm because we made our way to into the Johto area. And then it was like, we had to fight through, we ended up fighting three gym leaders, and then uh, we finally, we finally, we had to go through, like, two dungeons, I think it was? Yeah, like, two extra dungeons, and um, two whole gym leaders, plus, like, some side content. Yeah. Also, I, I've sent you a rematch. Did you? Yeah. Oh, there we go. It's in the little dot. There you go. Yeah, I mean... Bruh, the, I'm, getting, <laughs> I'm getting, like, Pokemon for this. You're getting you're getting good stuff. My, my, my last team, I was just like, what the, what is this? <laughs> um, yeah, I think, um... I, I think the, for that, like, what I, uh, what I would have preferred instead... Was like, after you beat the Elite Four, you, um, you end up go you go to the Johto League, and, like, your group, and, like, when you come out of the train station, or, well, I guess in our case, it was we teleported, right? I, I would have preferred if it, like, when the, the spot we teleport to is the Poke Center, so I would have preferred if, like, there's maybe a flag for either the train station or the Pokemon Center. Where uh, Professor Elm walks over to you and he's little, and he talks to you, and he's yeah. like, um, maybe like something, something like, "Oh, hey, welcome to, welcome to the Johto region. Um, I I heard about your achievements in in the Kanto region. We we're, we're looking forward to seeing uh, what you can do in the Johto region. Uh, here, and we." And, He's like, I always offer new trainers in this region. Uh, start a Pokemon, take your choice of Pokemon, right? Instead of me having to kind of aimlessly wander around in like once I get there, because I don't know. I mean, that was um, that to me was kind of like the problem I had. Um, once we got to Johto. Um. Why did they give it? That's why I couldn't do. What the? All right, try this one more time. Um, <laughs> what you <they> gave me? <laughs> what the heck? That's Jirachi and Jirachi. <laughs> yeah, what the fuck? Jesus, uh, that's great, bro. That's wow. crazy. Um, but I mean, that's not to say that I don't. I, I don't think the post game was fun. I think the post game offered quite a bit of a good of good stuff. I mean, I'm pr- I'm pretty sure that like if I had followed like the guide and like done all the other stuff, I, pr- I probably would have enjoyed all, all the uh, all the extra things and whatnot, all the little side quests and everything. I just um, I'm just saying I kind of expect to see in the future that like uh, have all that stuff more incorporated with the yeah. main story. Mm-hmm. And I think that would be great. Um, but overall, I think it was. I I think honestly, it was a lot of fun. 
I enjoyed seeing all the different fusions. Like the Aurora that you have right here. What in the world? That's good. Um, I like it. It is. It's good. Um, yeah, I... I did get lost a lot. I did. Like, mm. in, like because I just wasn't... Like, a lot of it stuff... Uh, maybe it's... I think that's more so because maybe I don't remember much of, like, the Johto region. Like, Kanto region, I know a lot, like, the back of my hand. Johto region, I don't really remember a whole lot. And maybe... I don't know if it's... if I don't know if it's, like, a custom... I don't know if, like, the, their, the Johto region in the game is more customized, or if it looks... Or if it's, like, one-to-one. -one. Because Kanto region... The Kanto region was more... Was very one-to-one. -one. Um... There was, I mean, there are some differences in the Kanto region, like the underground sewer, which, oh my god, I felt so stupid after, uh, <laughs> I felt so stupid because I was like, we went to the, the sewer for that rocket fight, and mm. in, in, in Celadon, I think it was, and I was getting into encounters like crazy, and I was complaining about the encounter rate, and then only to, only to realize that, um, <laughs> it's because I had what's his face in in the lead with with no guard and no guard was like increasing our encounter rate by a whole lot and then top it off with like um we were under leveled and that was also increasing our encounter rate oh my god i felt so stupid <laughs> but when i figured it out i was just like oh well that fixes our problem <laughs> That's funny. <laughs> yeah. Um. But I mean, what the hell is this thing? No, oh, it's the Kling Kling and Garchomp. Oh no! <laughs> I don't like this. I'm getting bullied. You, bro, you just yeah, destroyed two of my Pokemon. That's fine. Don't worry about it. <laughs> um. I have no, I have no fire on this team at all, and you've had two steel types. I'm not happy about it. I have no fire either, and you have a steel type right there. <laughs> you have two steel types. Too. What are you talking about? I don't, I don't like. I want Jeez. a counter. I want a straight counter, and it's just not giving me the counter. <laughs> nope, no counters. That's it. <laughs> um. um Easy. <laughs> yeah, I do. I mean, there were some, there were like a few custom areas in, in the Kanto region. They were actually pretty nicely done. And I, I, I like the story in the Kanto region. It was, it was nicely incorporated in my opinion. Um, I definitely enjoyed that. I don't, I have nothing to like fucking counter this with. <laughs> yeah, I'm not doing much here. <laughs> it's not going much any place. Oh, wait, Earthquake counter. Oh, nice. Yay. Finally something. Uh, hey. uh, Normal ground. Well. Uh, <laughs> earthquake. Oh, Man well. Fuck. <laughs> Get wrecked. Actually, speaking um, of getting wrecked, bro, remember I mean, the... The, f the first half of Infinite Fusion was very good. Okay. For what it was worth. Um... Like, the second half we had a lot of trouble with, but I don't think we should discount the first half either, because the first half, we had a lot of fun just figuring out Pokemon and fusing and oh, for stuff sure. together, and it's definitely worth the time just to play maybe through the first half and just, like, mess around. Yeah. Fusing Pokemon, it's definitely worth it. I agree. I do like. I, I I'm I wasn't even trying to uh, discount the the start. I mean, uh, I definitely agree with you. The starting the the Kanto region was really fun. It was I I enjoyed it a lot. The I I I was I I enjoyed like finding all the different Pokemon and fusing and everything. I enjoyed uh, wandering around the and like I enjoyed wandering around within in the story like going along with the story and everything. I it was. There was so much fun going like throughout that region. Um finding all the finding all the new Pokemon that are like all the new Pokemon to that area too, because like the, a lot of the Pokemon 
that we encountered in the Kanto region are not normally there. At least, as far as I'm aware. Um, yeah, and plus I have the different modes for changing up um, what you find there, too, is another thing we didn't really do. Uh, we kind of went with normal mode, but you can go with a mode that... Um, I think it was like randomizer or like oh uh, my god what the heck and something else also yeah what the heck what the heck what that thing do what the thing do <laughs> <laughs> yeah I think you can start off in, in like a randomized uh like you can start off with a randomized mode oh that's right you're ground I did that a lot during the game too fucking hell. Um, I don't know what to do here. I don't think any of these moves gonna be good, but <laughs> I'm gonna use this one. That's fair. I'm gonna use that one. <laughs> oh, apparently I got rid of your life orb. Woo. Oh, I had a life orb? Damn. Uh, apparently you had a life orb. Well, I mean... <laughs> oh, here comes the faint, because this is probably gonna kill me. I mean... Yeah, yeah. That's, that's kind of what I expected. What were my other... I don't even... Oh, well, it doesn't show me. Oh, well. A rematch. Challenge. Yeah, I mean... There was a lot of... Um, there was a lot of... Uh, uh, there was a... Like, I think you had two different modes. It was randomized and something else. Or was it randomized? No, it's remixed. I, remix is randomized, I'm pretty sure. And then I think there was something else? Um, uh, there was... It was like Remix and Classic and... There was Classic, Remix and... Shuffled, I think? Maybe, I think so. Something like that. And we should have probably tried Shuffled. And or... Um... The other one that wasn't classic. But, yeah. Oh well. Yeah, I think um, it's tough because on one hand, like, I want to like when I play a new game, like I want to go in like the uh, I want to play the intended way, and classic to me tells me that that's kind of like the intended, intended way. way. Yeah. And then like, but at the same time, I feel like. Maybe it would have been better if we did, like, Remix, but, re I mean, it's really only randomizing the Pokemon. We, we would still be going the same, uh, story route, I'm pretty sure. Yeah, we'd still be doing the story route, but... The, I mean, with the Infinite Fusion, I feel like a lot of the game is just using Pokemon and having fun, so... True, true. Like, we got limited a lot early on, which kind of drug it out, but at the same time, um... It made it more satisfying when we did get to those, like, specialty ones that we liked. Yeah. So. I, I will uh, say, I, I love the fact that I can choose whatever starter Pokemon I wanted. Granted, <laughs> I was, I chose Jolteon, and I didn't, and I, I mean, I realized it, but at the same time, I was, I like, I was, I, I was like, I, I want Jolteon at the start, regardless. Like, I don't care. I, I need to have it. <laughs> Like, that probably wasn't the smartest choice. <laughs> nah, that would be fun. I mean, it, it didn't hurt us that bad. It started off, uh, it started us off kind of, uh, kind of bad, because then we didn't really have anything, any electric moves to attack with, because Jolteon doesn't start off with any electric moves. Um, but I mean, it, 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 it worked out. <laughs> it worked out. It worked out, it worked out, it was fine. <laughs> um... I don't, uh, I don't know what you're super, what's super effective against that. There's only, I'm pretty, actually, I think this, oh no, it's not, never mind, never mind. I, I thought this was kind of like the Weavile, but no, it's not. Uh, this is Ghost Fairy. It's Ghost Fairy. I don't, I don't know what that means. <laughs> Neither do uh, I. I haven't played this since, I, I'm just kidding. No, uh, that's not gonna work because that's a normal attack. Oh, wait, why did... Oh, well, I don't know, that's a mean. Okay, yep, that's what I figured. <laughs> I don't think this is gonna work either. Yeah, I don't have any attacks for this. 
Rip. That's a rip. Okay, well, we're switching. Let's I do kind of wish that there was a built-in battler, but at the same time, I understand that they can't. I'm pretty sure it has something to do with the engine that it's using, or maybe it's something else. Uh, I like I do kind of just wish that we could just do this in game. I like I feel like um, half the fun, or yeah, I feel like half the fun I'd say of Pokemon games is being able to build your team and then battling against your friend. Uh, I do like. I do like Pokemon Showdown. It's an it's a Bruh. fast way of like building your What is this infinite fucking chain that you've set up? <laughs> it's bullshit. <laughs> no, go away with that bullshit. That's too many substitutes. No, oh, that's okay, well that's such a game. Great. Great, this is going great. I do feel that um I do feel half the like half the joy is like you know building a team, challenging your friend, and playing. Uh, and I love Pokemon Showdown because it allows you to um, it allows you to actually like battle against your friends, and it allows you to easily set up a team. Also, it allows for uh, a random battle, so like you can just do what we're doing, where it just gives us a random team, and then you you fight fight with it, which I think is really good. Um, what is a oh, goddamn? Uh, I'm a that? fighting ghost type. That's yeah, great. I see that. I see that. It's great. I love it. Yeah. Nah, I don't love it anymore. <laughs> okay. Um. So it's on one hand, like I under I totally understand why they couldn't incorporate it in the game. Apparently, like I'm pretty sure it has to do, do with like limitations. Um. And I'm glad that they set this up, like this this battler. I'm glad they actually went the route of setting this up because at least you still have that, right? So the 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 idea of being able to fight against your friends is still there, and I think that's really good. Um, I don't, I don't know. know how I, I lived through that. I really I really enjoyed the game. Uh, there are some there are some little glitchy stuff like uh. I, I I never showed this on stream. Well, there I think I showed a piece of it on stream or uh, on stream. I'm saying, oh my god, in in, in recordings, uh, where it was like we jumped onto, we're able to get off the water and on top of a ledge that we weren't, we shouldn't have been able to. <laughs> um, there's a part you you know where um, you know when you're heading to Saffron City, or mm -hmm. not Saffron um. Fuchsia City, and you have that bicycle path. Yeah. So we never really took the bicycle path because we went. We ended up going the other way because I, I wanted to go that way because it was longer, and there was more battles along the way. Um. The a bicycle path is all sorts of broken. I, <laughs> I I did explore that one off for, uh, uh, offline because the the. Roost TM is over there, and mm. um, <laughs> the bike, the way the bike path is set up, it's supposed to be like uh, like two layers. Like it's supposed to be like you have your top, your bike path is on top, and then you're supposed to go down, and then there's a whole like there's another part to explore. Uh, yeah, no, it's like all connected, like one layer, and you can literally just go from the um, from the bike path to the part below. <laughs> without having to actually go down. <laughs> I was just like, I was just like, what the heck? Why is that a thing? So I did find that to be a bit, uh, <laughs> that was a bit funny. Um, I'm not even sure what to do here. Uh, Fight think... me, coward. <laughs> oh, I was, I was trying, I was debating on what move to do as I'm like, oh, right. okay. Maybe not fight me. I mean, you called me a coward, so I had to. Yeah. Um. That's rude. Trying to electrify me. But yeah, Protect I mean, me. I mean, to be honest, this 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 game was a lot of fun. I enjoyed my playthrough with it. 
Yeah, did I did I get frustrated? Sure. But was I having less fun? No, I was enjoying it. It was it was a lot of fun, you know. Um. And honestly, I think <laughs> I flinched you. <laughs> you did. Fucking hell. Fetch him again. Fetch him again. <laughs> That's great. Fuck you, man. That's it. <laughs> oh yeah, this is gonna be great. Um, I don't know what to use on this. I will say the amount of sturdy that we saw. Jesus. The amount of sturdy was absurd. There was so <laughs> much sturdy. The amount of sturdy is too damn high. <laughs> no, I wanted you to get flinched. Stop. No, no flinching. Get flinched. No, Flinch. no. Flinch. No. Punch your poopy head. No. 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 <laughs> you punch. Okay. Well, I don't know if I'm going to be able to fix this, but we'll see. I mean, right now you're still plus. Am I? You have four Pokemon. I only I have, have three two. Pokemon. Uh, oh, right. You have three Pokemon. Sorry. Yeah. I don't have. Well, oh, I only have two, yeah. so... Oh, okay. Well, I'm doing better than I thought I was. Ow. Ow. <laughs> Ow. Stop it. Um, I guess maybe that. Yeah, that'll work. God damn it! <laughs> and then a data burn, probably. Oh my god. Um... Well, this is... Yeah, this, this is gonna be great. With my 6% health. Oh, I mean, I still ha no. I have to fight through your other two, so... Well, I mean, one's, like, very damaged. I mean, you say that, but I'm using this. I don't know. Plasma Fist. What's wrong? It's a me. Ground. <laughs> I didn't look! I didn't you did look what I now. did! <laughs> Well, I guess I'm going to the other one. Okay, well. Oh, man. Maybe this will do something. No, it does nothing. Good day, sir. It's oh, god damn it. <laughs> god damn Everything it. Everything I have is flinch. It's like, what the hell? What the heck? <laughs> what the heck, man? What the heck? Icicle crash. I think I win what this. What the heck, man? I think I won two out of three. Yeah, you did. That makes me the winner. You are the winner. All right. Yeah. Um. Closing thoughts. It's a good game. I think it's worth playing. I think if you like Pokemon, um, you're gonna it's enjoy it. worth getting. It's worth investing time into. Uh, if you want to go about getting like all the. Legendary Pokemon and all the little doing all the little side quests. I do recommend looking up a guide, which I mean they have it on their wiki. Well, it's not an official wiki; it's a wiki for the game. Um, but if you want, like, if you if you play through it and you decide that you want to do all the little side quests and stuff like that, definitely check out one of the guides there. Um, it's because you got you. It's not. It's not obvious. Like, a lot of the stuff is just not obvious. Um, so I do recommend that. It's a lot of fun. There's a lot of fusions. There's a lot, there's a, a lot of the artists put their heart and soul into making a lot of the custom sprites that you see in the game, which is really amazing. I'm, I'm not even, I'm like, I'm, I'm telling you how it is. Like, they're really fucking amazing. I really enjoyed a lot of the artwork that I saw, a lot of the sprites. It's really good. Um definitely definitely check it out give it a look and, and, and like it's fun that's all that's all that's all it, it's fun <laughs> i enjoyed it i really did and despite how like sometimes i got like frustrated with like certain aspects of the game it it's fun i enjoyed it i had a good time and honestly i had a good time doing this with snips my my one of my best friends here like it's it's been it's been great. Um, I don't know when the next time Snips will do a, do another game with me. Uh, that's something. It'll just depend, yeah. Yeah, that's something that we'll eventually talk about again if we decide to do it again. 
um, up to, you know, up to, up in the air. Um, but thank you everyone for hanging out. I hope that everyone enjoyed our playthrough and I hope I don't come across as being too harsh on the game or, you know, hating on it or anything. I, I'm not trying to, I'm really not. I really did enjoy it. Um, so yeah, thank you everyone for hanging out. Have yourselves a good one. Like, comment, subscribe, do the thing. And I will see you all in our next series. Take care. Bye! Bye-bye!